The best picture books are the ones where even if the child can't read, a grown-up can read the story to the child, then they can pick up that book again and again, and by looking at the pictures, remember the story. This is what my COVID-19 lockdown has been looking like. Waking up, going online, doing homework, editing videos, and working on projects. This is my dad. Lately, we've been working a lot in the backyard. We planted bamboo. Right now, we're building a pizza oven. A lot of exciting stuff. I've also been hanging out with my mom, too. We've been looking through old pictures and art projects from elementary school and up. We also found books and letters and pictures, a lot of different things from the past. This is me and my brothers when we were young. Right now, one of them lives in Egypt abroad, and the other one's staying at home with me. He's also been helping in the backyard with my dad. And that's my family. For the past two years, I haven't been able to spend too much time with them, but lately, that's all I've been doing. Because of COVID-19, we've been trapped inside and forced to hang out with each other. But in reality, it's not all that bad. We get to tell stories and hang out and do all kinds of things together that we used to not be able to. While me and my mom were looking through old stuff, we found a book called The Art Lesson by Tommy DePaulo. When I was in elementary school, I was doing a project on him, and I had reached out to him to get more information. He replied back with a letter, a picture of himself and his dog. Because of COVID-19, I got a chance to look back and remember Tommy DePaulo. And recently, I found out that he passed away, so I decided I wanted to do this project on him. He has been a big part of my life. Tommy knew he wanted to be an artist when he grew up. Tommy put his pictures up on the walls of his half of the bedroom. Tom and Nana had his pictures in their grocery store. On his birthday, which was right after school began, his mom and dad gave him a box of 64 Crayola crayons. Platt said Miss Landers, next month the art teacher will come to our room, so on Monday we will practice using our crayons. The classroom door opened and in walked the art teacher. Miss Lander said, Class, this is Mrs. Bowers, the art teacher. Class, Mrs. Bowers began, because Thanksgiving is not too far away, we will learn to draw a pilgrim man, a pilgrim woman, and a turkey. Watch carefully and copy me. Copy? Copy? Tommy knew that real artists didn't copy. Now, what's the matter? Miss Landers asked. I'm going to be an artist when I grow up, and my cousins told me that real artists don't copy. Well, well, Mrs. Bowers said. What are we going to do? She turned to Miss Landers, and they whispered together. I have an idea. If you draw the pilgrim man and woman and the turkey, I'll give you another piece of paper, and you can do your own picture with your own crayons. Can you do that? I'll try, Tommy said with a big smile. And he did. And he did. And he still does. This is Dear Mother Placid, help me with my work. Whisper in my ear when I need to make an artistic decision. Guide my hand to write, to compose, to draw, to paint images that will thrill and move children and all others to be filled with the love of God. Help me teach others when they look at my work, as you taught me through all those many years. Let them feel deeply God's love, too, through you and Our Lady. And let me never forget, love is never too much. So be it, your brother Tommy. <laughs>